Distributed Ledger Technology, or DLT, is making inroads into the traditional financial system. Around the world, the private sector is investing heavily in DLT and tokenization with a view to streamlining and automating existing processes, creating new use cases, and potentially serving a more diverse array of participants. Project Helvetia looks towards a future in which more financial assets are tokenized and infrastructures run on DLT. This raises the question whether and how central bank money may serve as a settlement asset. Phase 2 of Project Helvetia continues the successful exploration of tokenized asset settlement in Wholesale's central bank digital currency, Wholesale CBDC. The project is a joint experiment between the Swiss National Bank, the Bank for International Settlements Innovation Hub and SIX, and involves five commercial banks in the experiment, Citi, Credit Suisse, Goldman Sachs, HBL and UBS. It demonstrates how a new DLT-based platform for the settlement of tokenized assets can be integrated with the existing Swiss Real-Time Gross Settlement System, or RTGS system, and core banking systems. The setup uses test environments of production systems and builds on realistic requirements. Project Helvetia is experimental and does not indicate that the Swiss National Bank intends to issue wholesale CBDC. Several use cases involving wholesale CBDC were tested as part of the experiment. First, the issuance and redemption of wholesale CBDC. This is the one-to-one -one conversion between reserve balances in the RTGS system and wholesale CBDC on the DLT platform. Second, the settlement of financial transactions on the DLT platform. This includes the delivery of tokenized assets against payment in wholesale CBDC. Third, related back office processes, including the recording of financial transactions involving wholesale CBDC in the traditional core banking systems. And finally, central bank control over wholesale CBDC. This entails the ability of the central bank to monitor wholesale CBDC settlement and holdings. Let's have a look at the experimental setup. It builds on three main components. Component number one, the SIX Digital Exchange, or SDX, test platform, a permissioned DLT platform based on Corda by R3. SDX is a licensed financial market infrastructure operating in Switzerland. The platform hosts different nodes. The SNB node is the technical issuer of wholesale CBDC. Additionally, it may also be used by the SNB to initiate transactions and hold wholesale CBDC and tokenized assets. Commercial banknotes can also initiate transactions and store wholesale CBDC and tokenized assets. The Observer node collects all relevant transaction data and allows the SNB to monitor wholesale CBDC settlements and holdings. The notary node signs and timestamps all state changes to the ledger stemming from the transactions on the platform. By doing so, it prevents double spending and ensures settlement finality. Component 2. The test environment of the Swiss RTGS system, called SIC system, where each commercial bank and the SNB have a settlement account. For the issuance and redemption of wholesale CBDC, a technical account is used by the SNB and component number three, core banking test systems. In SNB's core banking system, new mirror accounts are needed to keep track of wholesale CBDC. Mirror accounts for reserve balances and wholesale CBDC in commercial banks' core banking systems keep track of traditional and tokenized central bank money. Interfaces and communication based on standard ISO messages enable interoperability between the different systems. In this experimental setup, several financial transactions and related back office processes are tested end to end. This is from entering the settlement instruction by the banks, settlement on the SDX test platform, through to booking and reconciliation of wholesale CBDC in core banking systems of commercial banks and the central bank. Leveraging the observer node functionality, 
the central bank is able to monitor wholesale CBDC settlement and holdings of wholesale CBDC. In the experimental setup, Project Helvetia also tested international settlement in wholesale CBDC and the end-to-end -end settlement of monetary policy transactions. Let's look at how settling monetary policy transactions on the SDX test platform could work. Newly created Swiss francs are transferred from the SMB settlement account to the technical account, issuing wholesale CBDC to the SMB node. The wholesale CBDC can then be used in a delivery versus payment transaction with a commercial bank. The transaction is booked and reconciled in the core banking systems of the SNB and the commercial bank. In this example, a commercial bank holds several assets, including tokenized assets, before the monetary policy transaction. In the transaction, it exchanges all tokenized assets for wholesale CBDC. While this transaction does not change the size of the commercial bank's balance sheet, it expands the central bank's balance sheet by the value of the tokenized asset purchase. Project Helvetia Phase 2 demonstrates how a new DLT-based platform for the settlement of tokenized assets can be integrated with an existing RTGS system and core banking systems. Establishing interoperability between DLT-based and traditional systems raises a series of complex considerations for both central and commercial banks. This involves changes to existing systems, as well as to booking and reconciliation procedures. It also requires the specification of messaging standards and new interfaces. If DLT prevails, it may have far-reaching implications for financial markets and their participants in the medium to long term, with the potential to replace many of the existing systems and processes. A safe and orderly transition to any prospective tokenized ecosystem requires financial market participants to coordinate and collaborate. Within the realm of their mandates, central banks should be part of this process.